enter this unusual little market in New York City, and you just might get cold feet. So basically, every single thing in here is frozen. Absolutely, the frozen food grocery store. Babette's Feast is one giant freezer section. We have breakfast items, we have soups, we have main courses, we have side dishes. Did we mention lobster? Lobster mac and cheese, lobster pot pies, lobster flatbread. Not what you expect in your normal freezer section. No. Petite fig and caramelized onion puffs. I think you've picked one of my I favorites. <laughs> Store founder Elizabeth de Kergelet came up with this cool idea while living in France. I read that when you were in Paris, you used to delight in serving elaborate meals, 99% of which was frozen food, just to fool people. Absolutely. I mean, is that the idea here? Well, it's not to, to fool people. <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's to give myself time to do other things. Perhaps this is what taxidermist Clarence Birdseye was dreaming of when he froze that first box of peas in the 30s. Today, every American eats roughly 71 frozen meals a year. Still, frozen coco vin, beef bourguignon, duck hot dogs? There is a stigma to frozen food. I mean, people think of it as cardboard pizza That's right. and freezer burn. Right, and it can't be further from, from the truth. Everything is locked in, the nutrients, the flavor. This is a whole range of stuff. All of this is frozen. You've got desserts. And Tasting is believing. It is a Brussels sprout crumble. So the store happily offers samples. That really does taste fresh. Yeah, yeah, that tastes very fresh. So next time you're stressing out over dinner, don't. Just chill.